we're going to take a look at some set plays. Um, and when I say set plays, I mean ways to get the disc moving off of a pull. Um, I figured I would show you a couple of the common ones that I see used at the, the top club level. You know, let's, let's work on how you could adapt these for your team. One of the really common plays that we see um, uh, out of horizontal stack is a play called sweep. And so, yeah, let's take a look at what that looks like. So this is sweep. Um, sweep is just a name for it. You know, it's just, you know, it's not my name for it. It's not the name for it. It's just a name. Any of these plays could have their own name. Invent your own. Um, we're calling it today. We're calling it sweep. So sweep is um, a horizontal offense play. So we've got our four offensive players set up in a hor horizontal stack. We've got our three offensive players. Um, if you're wondering at all about uh, the board, there's some little dots in here. I don't know if you can see them, but they're each 10 yards apart. So, um, you know, if you can see these two dots are 10 yards, 10 yards, and there should be 70, yard, 70 yards of, of distance. But anyways, so we've got our horizontal stack. We've got idea the ball. Ideally, the ball is starting in the middle, and let's say it's a force forehand mark. A lot of set plays that you run, at least at the uh, uh, elite level, you run them regardless of what the force is, and they're they're kind of built uh, assuming a lot of things about the people running them. Things like, um, you know, assuming that any any thrower that has the ball here is going to be able to, you know do anything with the disc that you need to to get that play going whether no matter what the mark is whether it's a hook or whether it's a break mark you know we don't wait to see what the force is to run the player decide what side to do it we just run it and assume that the players involved are going to be able to solve that situation so anyways um in terms of stack depth you've got your horizontal stack um somewhere more than 10 yards away but less than 15 yards away so that's the distance here, um, and what you're going to do with the sweep play is you're you, you're going to take two two players and make a bunch of space for one player to go into. So a lot of times, what that'll look like is you'll take the two players in the middle, and they will um, cut deep, and that deep is more of a move just trying to draw defenders and make a big space. And then you're going to have one of the two cutters. Let's say we did sweep for the person over here on this rail, they are going to enter this space in the, in the way that makes most sense for them. Um, one reason that we do this play that, uh, um, for this person, okay, so let's assume forehand four, so I'm going to put these defenders in here, um, blue is defense, yellow is offense. Um, you know, a lot of times, you know, a, a standard way to defeat horizontal plays or a standard way that you you know poach against um, a horizontal stack is you take this weak side rail defender and you throw them out in the lane um, or out maybe out here so what we like about sweep is that if we run this off an initial set we send these two guys deep usually there's not enough time for this person to recover before this person can get the ball in the middle of the field so that's one thing that we really like about sweep um, and the second thing that you can talk about is, you know, what happens after that? Let's just, assuming you get that first pass off, you know, what do you do after that? Usually what we'll do is we'll call, okay, we'll call sweep for this person. We'll call sweep for the one, one, two, three, four across the field. We're going to run sweep for the one, uh, the two and three, you're going to clear out deep to start. And then we'll identify, well, who do we want to be the continue? Maybe some person is going to go under, some person is going to go deep. So here's what that could look like. We clear these people deep. This person comes into the middle and we get the ball to them. And then maybe we've determined a continuation sequence um, from these two players. Maybe we said the two, you're going to continue under this way and you're going to be a continuation deep. Again, it doesn't matter who's doing what. Um, the real key is that you communicate what it's going to happen and how it's going to happen. Um, we want to make a big space. 
um, get the ball in the middle of the field to a player that we decided and then have an idea for who's going to continue. And then after that, play offense. I think that's a, a common mistake that I, that I see when we talk about set plays is like, well, what if, well, what if, what if this doesn't happen and it doesn't work? Play offense. Use all the other rules and guidelines from your offensive structure and, you know, start to flow or start to undo what went wrong so that you can start to flow. So that's like sweep for the middle. Um, we can also do it from one of the sides. Both have some advantages and disadvantages, but let's take a look at how that one would work. So a lot of times what you'll see is if you're going to run sweep on the side of the field, what you'll want to do, um, so we got the ball here. If you're going to run sweep on the side of the field, usually you're going to want to center the disc or, um, to someone near, uh, not near the sideline, but you don't want to usually put it to the person in the middle if you're going to run sweep on the side, and, and here's why. A lot of the time, you know, if the ball's in the middle, you're going to get a handler defender poaching in the lane, and that stops a downfield throw. So what we do is if we put the ball here, and we're going to run sweep with these two going deep, what we've done is we've eliminated the ability for anyone to poach in this space over here that we're trying to throw into. So that's a, a cool thing about why you would not center the ball to the middle on this on, on a set play if you're running sweep to the side. Um, so here's here's how your defenders might play you. You've got some over-the-top help here. You might have some over-the-top help here. These two defenders are probably going to play pretty honest. Um, handler defenders, this one's stopping the up line. This one, who knows what that guy's doing. But when we run sweep over on this sideline, um, or near this sideline, we're going to send these two deep and create this big open underneath space. And that's a good thing. One key here, though, is how these two clear deep with their cut to create continuation space. Okay, If these two guys, um, if they clear straight deep and we get the ball here, what we have is a situation where there's not a lot of space for these two to operate. So instead of having them clear straight deep, a lot of times when you run this play, what you're going to do is you're going to have them actually make their deep cut to an angle, and you'll see what this does. So if I, so the play gets initiated, and these two actually clear this way, and now we get the ball here. Now what we've done is actually created more space in this lane over on the right side of the field, and that's a good thing because that gives these players options on how to read their defender. They can either go deep, they can come under. They're going to make a read on what their defender does and, and take that space, but the point is they made more space for themselves to operate in, and that's a good thing. Again, if that doesn't work, play offense. Cool. Um, so that's an example of one set play that I see teams everywhere at the elite level using. Um, it's a play that teams I've played on have used. We use this at we used a version of this at Beach Worlds. You know, almost every high level team that I've seen that runs horizontal stack runs some version similar to this, or a set a set that starts kind of like this. The keys are use two people to um, create a bunch of space for one other person, and then have some type of scripted continuation, scripted in the sense that you know who's gonna go and an idea of where they might go, but you're allowing them to make a read um, based on the next thing.